Good morning. Welcome back to Animal Crossing and chillin' with your host, Kay Daisy. Today, I promise you, we're gonna do Camo Frog's house. Now, I feel a lot of pressure about this, <laughs> but, you know, truth be told, as I'm filming this right now, I'm sitting here with my cinnamon coffee, uh, after just waking up and feeding the dog, taking him out for his morning stroll, and I'm just waking up. So I usually wait till after I have my morning coffee to do my workout, and I figured while I'm sitting having my coffee, I can Animal Cross and chill with y'all, and we'll do Camo Frog's new 2.0 house, which he definitely deserves, and I feel so badly that the last time he was living on St. Rosie, he didn't have the opportunity to have a lovely new house. There's Poppin' even in the intro. <laughs> so welcome back to St. Rosie. Carmen is here doing a little work on the plaza. I don't know what she's up to, but it looks like she's keeping it clean. Oh, I forgot about Bunny Day. <laughs> oh no. Oh, but the bakery looks so cute. So cute. Anyway, it's Thursday morning. We've, again, caught up with real time. Uh, last night, I spent till 9.45 at a choir rehearsal, and we are doing this piece that just is high all the time for every section in the chorus, and I'm tired. <laughs> Isabel, what say you this morning? Oh, there's an announcement. We have a visitor at the campsite. Now, that could be interesting. Uh, it could, I mean, it's got, I will, let's see. We cannot have possibly gone through all of the whole villager roster in the campsite. Mmm. This outfit is just dreadful. Let's change it. We look terrible. And I think because we look terrible, not a lot of people clicked on the video yesterday. <laughs> Maybe I should change the thumbnail. You know, let's talk about YouTube for a second. I love this kitchen. I want to change it to like different colors, but make that for another episode. Oh, whoops. Okay. YouTube is interesting because I have three different YouTube channels with, so, okay, some of the same audience. Some of y'all are subscribed to all my channels, which thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Oh my gosh, we have stuff in our pockets. Should we just wear the stuff in our pockets? <laughs> we can wear this. You know what? This is not so bad. We're going to work with pocket, pocket gear. Um, and creating thumbnails and seeing which thumbnails work and which don't work is a really interesting time. Not always fun. I have to say sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, just click on the video, but very interesting. Oh, we're so cash today. I love this. Cash. Um, and I have a plugin called Tube Buddy and it, it really is only with my, oh cute, regular, um, not regular channel, but my main channel. And I may look into investing into getting the legend version of this plugin on my other channels as well, just f for fun. Because until YouTube implements this across their general audience or creator audience, but you can A, B test a thumbnail, which means you can come up, you can create a thumbnail, have that be the thumbnail, but also have an additional, oh, have an additional thumbnail that will cycle out and it will tell you which one performed better over time or however other, you know, way you want to do the ratings. And sometimes the results, oh, whoops, sometimes the results are very interesting. I find that when I do the A-B test, um, the second version of the thumbnail that I create, like not my first thumbnail, but always the second version, 
performs way better than the first one. So here's what I'm thinking my, is should be my workflow thus going forward. I should create a thumbnail, work hard on it like I do, right? And then I should create a second thumbnail and then a third one. And this, the second thumbnail and the third thumbnail should be the A-B test because obviously my warm-up thumbnail <laughs> is not it. This And this is what I found. And I find that there are so many interesting things about being a YouTube creator, and that is one of them. Okay, how do we look? Do we like this? Is that good? All right. Anyway, if you're curious, I make my thumbnails in Canva, and I have not done any A-B testing on this channel uh, because this is a fun channel, <clears throat> and I don't want to have to do that kind of thing over here, but maybe eventually I will. Maybe I care a little more. Hello, Ruby. One of y'all said she looks naked with the shirt on, and now I can't unsee it, but she's very cute. Are you going home? I know, I know, I know. Hey, bestie. Today's a, it's a great day. How are you? Sunny days are my absolute favorite. You know what? Same. And it's not a sunny day over here in Boston. It's looking quite overcast and cloudy, which is sad. Okay. Camel Frog's yard is the moment. It is. It's like, it's the moment. I'm giving myself a giant pat on the back for this one. <laughs> Should we just go ahead and do his house? We'll do it at the end of the episode. How about that? <laughs> That's what we'll do. Um, just gonna clean up real fast. Just do a little bit of maintenance. I would like to put some stuff in Tabby's yard. What? What would? What would a girl like Tabby be doing outside? She's a manga girl. You know her favorite anime is Card Captor Sakura. You know that, right? And she's got a little bit of the that punk but cute thing going on, you know? So what would she be doing outside? Mm. 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 Okay, I got an idea. I think Tabby would be into drawing and doing art, like comics and stuff. Totally. All right, let's do that. So, okay, I'm obsessed with this. Absolutely obsessed. I love how this turned out. I had some questions about the awning, but I think it's adorable. And I'm, I wanna work here and serve cake here. Would you like a cheesecake? Would you like a cupcake? Would you like some of this snack bread with lemons on it? Would you? Oh, I love this. Love it, love it so much. All right, let's grab some stuff for Tabby. She would have like all pink stuff, right though? Maybe get something out. Tabby would have like all pastel things. She wouldn't be, I, Tabby would, might also be like a streamer, but she can't stream. Is Tabby streaming outside? No, I don't think so. All right, let's see. Study chair, hmm. Ranch chair, would she have froggy chair? I don't know, maybe just a stool. <gasps> one of these because I mean it's outside it's comfy it's not a big deal or like one of these if maybe she's the Tommy girl not to Tommy girl um oh what is the table uh the the covered table Katatsu is she Katatsu girl I think she might be Katatsu do I have a Katatsu I must I don't how do I not have a Katatsu? I want a Katatsu in real life so badly. Wouldn't it be? I mean, I would have no place to put it, but let's review. Isn't there a heater underneath the Katatsu? Where you could, under some, well, I guess under some Katatsus, it keeps your feet all warm and cozy. I want that in wintertime. Okay, tables not looking very good. Tables are looking anemic compared to my chair supply. <laughs> um, what do I do? I kind of, what about a desk? Desk, something like this, this, this. I 
kind of want to give her the gaming desk. Hmm. There's not that much room. I don't know what I'm what I think I'm working with. Hmm. Maybe we'll do the vintage desk. Did I get a chair? No, I got chairs that I don't need anymore because there's no katatsu. Let's get a chair. Um. Hmm. What about just a stool? <gasps> the music's gonna change. It's gonna be eight o'clock. Um, and then we'll grab some stuff for her to do. I definitely have to have one of those like art sets, right? <laughs> one of those things that you just seem to collect in the game for no reason. What's that? Oh, the English just said that's so cute. Okay. <gasps> she can have a little picnic out there as well. Little bamboo. Okay, cute. That is cute. And let's see. Oh, she can definitely have a little snack, right? Or something. Um, like some of these? Uh, Song, Song Pion. Song Pion. I'll have to look up what those are. Um, and then, where's the little art set? Looking for the art set. <gasps> books, comic books. This is also precious. I, d I don't know if I can fit that, but maybe somewhere down there. Okay. Okay. Cartoonist set. Pink. Duh. <laughs> and then, oh, I kind of like these office materials. <gasps> what about this? I never use that. Where am I going to put all these things, friends? Can I make... What are they... Can I change the variations on these? Let's try it. Let's try it. Otherwise, we have to go to, to, to Harv's Island. Hmm. Oh. Let's see. Okay. Design sketch. Color samples. Cute. I don't know if I've ever looked at a lot of these. <laughs> Before Char was taking notes, that's so cute. Oh, there, I love the map. Okay, this seems like the most. It's already at the most. What I think is probably the most accurate. I like the color samples though too, but that's more of like you're making clothes. The constellation's cute. All right, let's keep that as it is, and let's look at other things. Oh, that's right. You can change the pen stand. I love. The way that it is already though that's cute i don't think i've ever seen that one so cute okay we'll keep that one the way that it is what else can we change the floor seat oh we're not using that though but i like i like the way that it is though just you know and the oh wait what oh that's right you can change the bamboo lunch box okay it's already nice i already like it what what else is here oh the cartoonist mm -hmm. set <gasps> Gag comic. Jeez. Comic storyboard. Blank. Gag comic. Hmm. I mean, do we need to change this? It's probably, it's fine. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a go here. Okay, so Tabby's yard is pretty small, but she might, would she, wait, would she look out? Onto town, probably more likely than. Hmm. No, you can scoot past here. Okay, let's put the chair down. The vintage stool. Oh, they match so well. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. All right, so you can get here. You can do a little art something. This is actually not so bad. This is kind of cute. All right. So I think, how many things can I put on this table? Like two? So I would put for sure the little, okay, let's start with the art set, I guess. And this is gonna be the wrong way. So I may have to, oh, wow. I think I can only put one thing on there, right? I can't put the lunchbox. <gasps> no, it's too small. What did I just pick flowers? I must have just picked flowers. Yes, I picked some cosmos. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, okay, well, hmm. 
I need a bigger desk. Well, I guess I'm gonna need an actual table. I think I'm gonna need a table. Desk is way too small. Let's put the desk back and we'll grab a table. Because a table, I think, is what we're gonna need. Oh, here we go. Here's storage. I'm so glad I don't have to go all the way back to my house anymore. <laughs> Do y'all ever think about that occasionally? Because, wow. Oh, wait, should I? Mm, the footrest? Maybe I'll keep that out. I'll put that away and that. And no, not that. Uh, there's the desk. We'll put that back. Okay. Let's get a table. I hope I'm still able to fit um, to go around the table, you know? Okay, so we have actual table. I mean, we can use one of these. This is not really an outside table. <laughs> Um, do I need a table? Hmm. Why is this so hard? What about a low table? How many things can I put on the low table? Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Maybe I just use, I need the sloppy table. Um, even though... Okay, listen, I can't put a billion things on the sloppy table, but I think, tempting, don't do it. Even though I think that the sloppy table, I can only put like a couple things on the sloppy table too. Um, I think it's better than the desk because it's, I don't know, it's more realistic. Let's push the sloppy table, let's see. Okay. So, if I push this, we'd have like one seat here. I do wish it were a different color, but we'll just, we'll deal with it. It's fine. We'll put the art set on the one side. I think she'd have a white, a little white table. I think it'd be fine. Um, cartoon is set. All right, let's, let's put it. Beautiful. And then we can put one thing here. It's like hanging off the side. <laughs> All right, we also should put, what about, is this gonna fit? Kind of cute, right? And maybe over here we put something to put our stuff on, like a little outside table. Hmm. <gasps> Uh-oh. Somebody lost something. Somebody's lost their diary. Um. A lot of you didn't know that you could investigate lost items. Investigate them. Take a look. Oh. Okay. If you don't know the villager very well who lost the item, it will say that. So that's probably either camel frogs or carmens? I don't know. Well, we'll find out though. Okay. What are we, what are we doing? Are we getting a little table? Little table. Oh, you know what? Should I use that footrest? Or should I just use one of these? Little tables. We're gonna block the uh, the cat litter box. Maybe we can move that. Hmm. Cute tea table. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Oh my gosh, the bakery. Every time I pass the bakery, I'm like, oh my God, so cute. Okay. So we're gonna block this. We're just gonna collect that. I'm just gonna sit this table right here. Just, we need to be able to get, she needs to be able to get past us. So I don't, I don't wanna sidle, but I wanna put something here. Um, maybe the lunch box. Oh, you can't even see, should we pull it? <sighs> the sidling, all right, let's push this. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. That's actually not bad. Okay. Now I feel like though, this stool is not, it's, I'm not feeling it. What about the Moroccan footrest? Here we go. I'm, that's more like cozy outdoor goodness. <gasps> Why didn't I put some vines? We can put vines now. Okay, and then whatever I'm gonna drop, it can be like right, right here, let's see. 
Um, the books? What, what's, oh no, the pen stand. I feel sad about the pen stand, but I just, just no room. All right, let's move the books. Kind of adorable. Kind of cute. Um, hmm. Should the pen stand go instead of this? I feel sad about the pen stand. Let's see. Uh, pen stand. I mean, that is just so in more inspiring to me to have the pen stand there. Should we reorient it? It looks a little, <gasps> oh no. Oh, I hate when I do that. Okay, let's try again. Cartoon is set, let's go. Oh no. All right. <sighs> this game is so hard sometimes. <laughs> Okay, let's reorient the pen's stand. There. Now you can see what's going on. Oh, what about the box of supplies? Did I get that out? Office supplies? No? Oh. Hmm. Kind of want that out. Where can we put... We can put the litter box, like, right there, right where the flowers are. Flowers. Oh. Oh. There we go. Can you hear the balloon? I can hear the balloon. It's tempting. All right. Litter box. Secret place. I mean, it's not so secret. How'd you like to go potty right in your front yard? How would you like that? Would you like that? Can I even get to it? What is even here? How do you sit on it? Is it like, can I sit on it like that? Can you sit on the litter box? Or is it just like villagers can do it? Wait. Wait, real talk. Let's, let's, let's talk about the, oh, I can't sit on it, but villagers can. That's weird. Did you know that? Did y'all know that? I, you can't sit on the litter box, but villagers can? Cause I've seen it. Oh my gosh, please. I've seen it. Am I just losing it? Ugh. That... That is wild to me. I can't sit on it. I'm trying. I'm trying real hard. Okay, well. We have learned something. Let's get some vines. We'll do a little decoration. And maybe that'll be that. You know, we'll put a little... Maybe we'll put some patterns on the floor. I don't know. Okay, put something away. Oh, the snack. Well, oh well. <laughs> what are you gonna do? And this. Let's get out some vines. I don't think I've ever decorated with vines like this yet. So, first time with vines. Hooray. Okay. Let's get some vines. I wonder how many I have in my storage here. Do you all decorate with vines on your island? I don't think I ever have. I mean, unless you have like a tropical looking island, maybe it doesn't go through your head to do that. I've got so many. I've got so many. <laughs> so many vines. I was really collecting vines during those early HHP days, man. All right, I think, cause I think they'd be cute. Oh, we didn't put a seat. There we go. I don't know how many we need. Just maybe one more. It's like back here, you can't even see it. Oh, whoops. Okay, well, maybe not. Maybe that's all we need. Okay, now let's put the seat back. Did I put... Oh, I put the seat in storage. Uh, <laughs> Alright, well, maybe we'll get a different seat. We'll get a cuter seat. Okay, get something out. Uh, would she have a different seat? Cute chair would be actually really cute. Hmm. Now we have a, a choice for a different seat. Wait, froggy chair? Come on. I mean, <laughs> seriously, it's Tabby we're talking about. It's gotta be froggy. Can I even put froggy chair? <gasps> oh no. Because of the vines? All right, hold on. Hold on, we'll just put the vines right here, right? Was that, will that work? Uh-oh. Am I, 
Am I ruining my hole? Oh no. Okay. You can't climb this. It's just for decoration, but you can sit here on your froggy chair and do art. Yay! I love that there's like kind of, it's, it's messy a little. That's my favorite. I want to put the office supplies here though, instead of this. So we're going to go back for those. <laughs> I have changed my mind. Um, Cause I think that would be really cute. Come on, open. So anyway, um, I have suspected now for a few days, at least for a week, that Clover, my beautiful seven-year-old King Charles Spaniel, has lost almost all of his hearing, uh, which is unfortunate because he's only seven. And I just, I didn't want to admit to myself that that's what was happening, but we confirmed at the vet yesterday. We didn't do like a lot of extensive like clinical testing. They did like a ear cytology to make sure he didn't have an infection or anything. And there was nothing blocking his ears, but he's definitely hard of hearing, if not completely deaf. And yesterday, where's that box? Yesterday I was like in my feelings about it. You know, I, he, He's fine. He's adjusted very well. And I suspect it's been for like at least a year, if not longer, that he hasn't been able to hear. And that he's so well adapted that my hand signals and and his ability to read my lips actually is really very advanced. <laughs> because when I cover my mouth, he doesn't respond. But when I have my mouth open in front of his face and he can see, he actually can figure out what I'm saying to him. And, okay, here we go. Which one do we use? This one? Yeah, let's do that one. But I'm sad. I, I'm i sad for him. He'll never hear his name called anymore. And that makes me really sad. So I'm just kind of in my feelings today. And, um, yeah. So that is, that is the update on my beautiful dog, Clover. He is the light of my life. And actually, the uh, the woman who bred him has his mom still said that she's also deaf. So it must be congenital, and there's nothing I can do. Because I was feeling for a while like, I must be a bad dog mom. You know, like, I must have done something or not done something. And I was really beating myself up. But I don't know. Apparently, it's just something that happens. And it's gonna be okay. So I ordered a deaf dog um, ha harness and leash so that everyone knows that he's not ignoring you. He just can't hear you and to, you know, not surprise him at all. But we're working on some hand signals and it's okay, but <sighs> I just feeling some kind of way about it yesterday. Anyway, Camelfrock, is this your diary? Good morning, hello? Um, did you lose this? If you're, if you've just moved to St. Rosie and you're losing stuff already, it's gonna be tough. Oh, it is. Hmm. That's the secret planner I've been looking for? Well, it's not so secret if you're just gonna go dropping it around the island, you know? I didn't read it, I promise. Thanks for bringing that back to me. I was gonna cuckoo, I was going cuckoo without it. Here, I got something special for you. <gasps> what is it? What would you say to a cycling shirt? I don't need that. But thank you so much, Camel Frog. Look how happy he is. Look. All right, so I think, I think it's gonna be time to redo the house now. Um, again, I'm just gonna chill during the house redo. We'll speed through it and we'll talk about it when it's done. Cause I don't, uh, I need to concentrate. During, during the house redo. And it will be so, hopefully so much better when I'm finished. So let's, and oh. Do we participate in this or no? Should we? Maybe. Maybe let's do that before we do camo frogs. By the way, if you don't, if you haven't noticed, uh, LaBelle, 
I mean, we don't... I, the Belle's okay, right? She's just not... She doesn't have a very interesting role in New Horizons. But the little nod to Gracie right here on the bag, on the, on the duffel bag here. Did you notice that? Gracie's pattern on the little tie. Little nod. Oh my god, Maple! Little nod to Gracie. We love to see it. Maple! Good morning! Are you feeling better? I stopped to chat. I wonder what my parents are up to. I should probably give them a call. I mean, you might want to. I don't know. Um, let's, let's do this. Hi! Okay, what is your fashion goal today? Sporty outfit. All right, I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, she's gonna give me one to start out with. Thick striped shirt. What is that? I mean, I was guessing it's just a shirt with thick. No, not that. Where? Oh, looks rugby. All right, well, let's change. And we're gonna look sporty. Hello? Okay. <laughs> we're gonna look sporty. Let's see, do we have rugby pants? Cause we're looking very rugby. Cycling shirt. Okay, that's what Camifrog gave us. Let's, let's, uh, let's put this away. Let's get some, let's see, athletic pants? Now my shirt's not looking very, uh, sporty, you know, but whatever. Athletic pants, it is, I think. Because I don't think that I have, like, a lot of athletic track pants. Track pants. All right. You know what? Let's lean full in. Athletic jacket. Or we can wear green. Uh, let's see. That is so cute. That is actually so cute. The little... I need other colors in that. Anyway, getting distracted. Let's look. We could wear a dirty tank top. <laughs> Dance team jacket. Does that count? Oh, man. All right. I mean, I don't know why we're working so hard on this. Fitness tank. I mean, it says sport right on it. So we have to wear that, right? Let's wear a sporty headgear. I mean, we could go all out with the bicycle helmet. Right? Look it. Why would I ever wear this? Why? <laughs> Why do I even have it? A jockey's helmet? How inappropriate is that? I never... Well, I mean, I guess I did ride looking like this occasionally, but not, I mean, not without any foot footwear, proper footwear, you know? Um... <laughs> just... <laughs> Safety helmet? Sailor's hat? The sailor's hat's real cute. Soft serve hat. Mm -hmm. Swimming cap. <laughs> Swimming cap it is. All right. Should we wear like sporty glasses, cyber shades? No. I have a cat nose. Why? Uh, are there any sporty glasses? Would there be? What? Why? Why? Um, pilot shades. Looking pretty cute. Pixel shades. You never know. Where where are the sporty glasses? <clears throat> you know, I suppose, honestly, the snorkel mask would count, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Right? Or the snort the goggles? We already have a swimming cap on. So I mean let's lean full in. Do are there are there flippers? Well there's like water shoes, right? We look ridiculous. Outdoor sandals. That's sporty, right? Right? <laughs> you know what? Ski boots. Why not? We're going full in. And as far as bags are concerned, and not that it matters, but, I mean, we're going... We're, listen, we're leaning all in. Sword in a scabbard done if we don't win it's ridiculous hook it up uh label label look at it look look at my outfit 
Look it. Look it. Don't give me the... Okay. We're coordinated. Yes, sporty, yes. It all comes together in fashion perfection. All right. Give me the thing. Give me the... Oh, that's right. They don't. She doesn't give it to me right away. It's tomorrow. Teddy's like, what is wrong with you? What? <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, no, she is giving us a, th a thing. <gasps> what is that? What is that? A LaBelle hat. All right. What is the, is the LaBelle hat like the little cap that is probably not that cute? Let's wear it. Oh, wait, it's kind of fab. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got change. We're g it's giving fashion. All right, let's change again. Cause I can't change enough times during this single episode. <laughs> We are, I mean, let's be fashion goddesses today. Do I have a matching outfit? Is there a shirt? Is there like a whole LaBelle top thing? Oh, there are. Like this. Knit shirt. Why? Okay, what about this? LaBelle coat. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> and then, and then, is there a skirt that goes with it or is it pants? The coat is pretty fabulous. Wait, what's going on? Are there, please, are there LaBelle bottoms? And why don't I, why can't I find them? Hold up, what's going on? Where are the LaBelle bottoms? I need bottoms. Um, wow. Wait, wait. I look like I'm definitely, I need to talk to the manager about something, you know? That's what it, that's what I'm, that's the vibes I'm getting right now. I need to talk to the manager and you can't stop me. Are there LaBelle socks? Oh, there's like a LaBelle tight, okay. Looking great so far. Are there LaBelle shoes? Great. Amazing. Wow. If you talk to her with all of your LaBelle gear on, does she did say anything? Nah, you don't care. You're jealous that your sister, why don't you, why can't you live here? What's your deal? What's your situation? Spill the tea. I look crazy with all of the logos on. Hmm. Well, this is how we're looking today. So, you know, just get used to it. All right, let's do Camo Frog's house once and for all. We're gonna do it nice and chill. Oh, do I have enough bells? Do I have enough bells? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let's talk about a residence home. New designs, let's do it, 9,000. Oh, I have just enough. Yes, let's brainstorm ideas. Okay. Do, 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 do. Camel frog. Finally, it's happening. Okay, I'm so excited. It's finally happening. And that about covers it. What do you think? Are you okay with entrusting Katie with your home? Go for it. I've had a hankering for a change of scenery lately, so this will be perfect. Oh, glad to hear it. Your house is in good hands. Leave everything to k Daisy and me. Look at me, I look ridiculous, but that's my designer outfit and we're sticking to that story, okay? <laughs> now he's gonna collect my money for doing work for you? I don't understand. I think the exterior is fine, but we'll take a look. The exterior is fine, right? I mean, I don't feel like I need to change this at all. Or I can make it look really, hmm. Maybe I'll make it like that. The rocks on top. I like the stone weighted roof. Is that, is this, am I changing the outside? I kind of liked the way that it was. Should I like go back to the way that it was? I kind of like that. Maybe we'll change the wreath to more 
tropical feelings. <laughs> Maybe, um, well, let me, let's see. Uh, white, gray? How does that look? Weird. Maybe this was fine. Or this is good. That's pretty. But doesn't Raymond have that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, friends. Well, what about this? That's kind of cute. I feel like someone else has that. Purple? Oh no, I'm struggling. I'm struggling already. Roses? Pansies. Snazzy pansies. That looks that looks good though. All right, maybe well, can we maybe we'll change the door, okay? Maybe we won't like do a lot of wild stuff to the front of the house, but maybe the door can change. What about this? Hmm. One of these beautiful doors. Is that good? I think that's good. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. And then the interior we will do at lightning speed. This is so fun for me because I never had a chance to change this house back in the day. I'm so excited. All right, I'll get back to you when I'm done. This is a nice natural environment for Camel Frog and the house he deserves. He's got a nice view of the forest, jungle, I guess. He's got his sort of neutral, it's, it's very neutral, like lots of wood, lots of natural, lots of plants. He is a plant daddy. I've given him like a little shower here. He can shower or the plants can shower. Humidifier, nice and humid in here. A little fly just in case he gets hungry and a little tiny kitchen over here and he, he can't access everything. It's not like he's gonna have to sidle. Um, and I think this is the house that Camo Frog deserves. I may give him a little light over this couch thing here. Oh, but he's got this plant situation, so maybe it's fine. Anyway, that is it for Animal Crossing and Chillin' for today. I hope you enjoyed 
finally getting to do Camo Frog's house. I really, really like it. I think it's natural, nice, and neutral for Camo Frog and the home he finally deserves. Congratulations, Camo Frog. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!